And I ran the intro without no sound, of course. Are we I, back? Are we live? Are, are we, we here? We, we are live, we're here, and I just ran the intro with no sound. <laughs> I just did an EO! I did an EO! No, I always <laughs> run my intros with sound. The issue is I might run them with too much sound. Anyway, uh, we are back, and Ryan is away. So, um, um, we, we um, go into the tavern. You are. And yeah. Something as Ryan puts his headphones on. That's a lie to confuse him. So and how the much dragon is damage, Chucky? Uh, fifty-five. Okay. Um, well, I think that puts me below negative ten or below. No, no, no. My max is twenty-eight, so I'm still alive. You're, you're still alive. Wait, what's okay, going Ryan, on? Okay, I need your initiative. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> are we back from break? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah. back. We're, we're back. Just, we were just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you don't have 28 HP. You're level one, I do have 28 you? HP. You're level three? I'm level three. Yeah, he started at level what? three. So if I hadn't fought for my vampire experience, you would have start. You would have started Neil at a higher level than I was at. You weren't level three yet. I just got to level three after getting that vamp. I was at zero mm -hmm. XP until I was like, "Give me experience for that vampire I killed." Oh wow. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, but you can see below my stats when I rolled for HP, it was 10 and 8, and so 28 HP for level 3 fighter. Nice. Yes. Okay, so uh, you guys walk into a tavern. Uh, you are getting not in the tavern, in the rooms, and um, what did you do? Any, anything else you just sweep, or do you have any specific plan? Uh, sleep. Sleep. I don't have I don't have any plans. I think we're we're mostly traveling. Well, okay. I guess no. So as we get in there, and I mean, how do you direct me to my room? <laughs> I direct. You, we walk. I I put my arm around your shoulder and I usher you in and up the stairs and to the rooms that we were assigned. And what what is this room for? For you to sleep in. Why would I sleep in this room? Uh, where would you like to sleep? I, I kind of blink horizontally at you. There is a perfectly lovely river just a few feet away. Do you, do you sleep in the river? Usually, if it is available. Really? Lizardmen sleep underwater? I, I figured they would like bask on the banks or something like they that. They can bask on the banks. They can sleep underwater. They they can do a manner of stuff. Put it like this. Lizardmen are just humans that can ignore most of nature. They can eat ev almost everything. They're pretty good in. Uh, so say this in the DMG. Hard. Yeah, it kind of does. And and in the other modules that are written by Wizards of the Coast, they kind of say at one point in the module I remember in the Holy Dragon Queen, there's a battle of still raw wizards that can be eaten by humans. They're not very appetizing, but the wizardmen eat them with quite an appetite. Okay, so, um, Kang? Um, so, I guess if you don't want the room that I got for you, you, you can leave. But... Do you need me to guard you at night? Uh, no. Mister? Mistress? Mistress. Then I shall go sleep in the river. And I proceed to go down towards the river and swim around in it for a while and try and get me a fish for dinner. Okay, um, people are kind of pointing fingers at you, but it doesn't seem like anybody does anything more than that. Um, they just seem to avoid you completely, and as soon as you get to the river, they seem to be quite happy that you are away from the village. Okay. Okay, so um, you are you sleep in the growl for the night, and you wake up in the morning... Uh, I'm guessing you have breakfast, you'll meet up in uh, front of the tavern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, when, whenever I wake up with the sun, I just go and stand in front of her door. Okay, so you... So, you... Does, does the lizard men also bypass the having to, like, take watches at night or get rolled, or have to roll to get mugged? No, it's all, like, taking watches. It, they sleep eight hours, they sleep normal hours, there's no meditation or stuff like that. 
I mean, he just like spent the night in a river and didn't get mugged. Yeah. If I tried to That's spend the night out in the woods, I would, you would get mugged. If you spent a night out in the woods near a tavern, near a river, you'd most likely get raped, not mugged. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> You're horrible. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, I guess I yeah. If I get there before she wakes up, I just stand outside of her bedroom door, trident and uh, wicker shield in hand. If I get there after she's awake, I will just meet her. I'll you know spot her downstairs. So when, when do you wake up? Her. I'm probably generally a late sleeper, actually, except when I need to split town. So I probably sleep in. Okay. So you open the door downstairs. and you see like Kang in front of you, Schwedent right there. You see like a small like. A line of people at the stairs, kind of staring up. You're frightening the customers, Kang. Have you eaten? I had fish last night. Did you roll a survival check for that, or are lizard men immune to that as well? Oh yeah, that's a, a good about point. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a good point. Roll me a survival check. Yeah, you 14. can definitely find a ship fish with that. Mm. All right, come on then, let's go, and I will get myself some some kind of food on the way out of town if I can find like a I don't know a pie monger or some pie monger or something. Okay, uh, you can easily find a um, just this an old lady selling her pies and her pastries. Actually, I think I pay I pay for you, food you and food and drink for two people, for so I'm just gonna dinner. like. What's that? You paid only for dinner. Well, either way, I'm just going to walk... I'm going to grab... Have my way with the kitchen or something on my way out. You go into the kitchen and you just grab, like, a... Yeah. Uh, I just, like, walk through the kitchen. Like, I probably walk... I tell Kang to meet me outside, and I just, like, walk through the kitchen like I own the place. And just, like, pick up loaf of bread here, hunk of cheese there, and just walk out the back door of the kitchen. You walk out the back um, door of the kitchen. If you'd like, I can, like, roll a... St I I don't know what, like, deception stealth or deception. deception like, bluff or... No, deception. Deception? Mm -hmm. No bluff. Bluff is uh, something yeah, completely was, different. That was... Yeah. And I don't think you actually have a bluff check. Seven. So, no, so they're you, probably like... You, um, you just eat. You just grab a couple of things. You go out and at the, like, the door... When you look back, you see like this fat lady with a very big wooden spoon. Hey, you there! Come back! Uh, just leaving. Thank you. And I just keep going. You winner bastard! <laughs> okay, Do you so. Do need me to spear something? No, no. I paid for this food anyways. We're fine. Okay, so um, <laughs> you guys continue on. She doesn't give any kind of chase. Uh, she doesn't seem to be in the mood she of. She couldn't if she wanted to. She couldn't if she wanted to. Uh, and secondly, um, I'm, I was going to write this down. So people have been asking if I'm French, if I am Dutch. Uh, continue on asking. Please, everybody, do not tell them. Do not tell them what I am. I just want to have like a nice list of possible nationalities I can fake as. Guys, just start faking, asking him if he's everything. Um, my, my first guest was South African, actually. Really? Yep. I'm not nope. sure if I... I mean, it might have been <laughs> spoiled for me before I actually heard him speak. I'm not sure. I think it was spoiled for you. He's, he's actually American. He just has a speech impediment. Yeah. <laughs> actually from the UK, but I lost my, I lost my accent at all. Completely. Yeah. yeah. It's the vampire blood you hear. It's the vampire, bud, yeah. He's actually Swedish, like raised in Sweden for six years and then moved to the UK. So his accent's kind of this weird mingling of the two because it was a predominantly Dutch community in the UK that he was living with. Mm hmm. None of this is even remote. See? Here, is it? It's stalker. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's continue on in the game. Uh, you guys are. <clears throat> You guys are continuing on your journey, and on your journey, you continue on to Fenbard. Uh, you expect to make it a bit after night in Fenbard if you travel the whole day. Um, maybe even actually a bit more, so you'd have to travel a bit through the night. Um, 
On your way, before we, you're before we actually step all the way out of Grawl, I turn to Lucille and go, my gold coin. Oh, yes. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just pay you every day. Yep. I was okay. thinking of, like, pay in advance, but as dense as you are, I figured that might confuse you. It might. <laughs> What's your intelligence? We're pro yeah. You're probably not Four. that. Oh, wow. Okay. You <laughs> I, I'm, I need to role play with myself as dumber. I'm trying, but it's hard. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty... How? I'm Did pretty you, like, roll, you roll the six and you get minus two or something like that? Something like that. I don't remember exactly the penalty. It might have actually been... For... Neil's internet dying the nab sharks. It might be minus three uh, <laughs> for lizard men. Wow. Well, you you wanted the lizard men. Was it you wanted I the lizard men or a kobold? I took whatever penalties and bonuses came with it. Yeah. Now I'm a complete moron. Now you're a complete moron. You, everybody pays the price of their character. But you have a pretty nice strength, I think. Eighteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. I thought you were complaining about your average stats. Yeah, well, after my bonus to strength, it's... I mean, it's 17, 11, 11, 4, 9, 11. I think that... I'm working with 8, 13, 12, 9, 8, 12. That, those, are, those are much more average. Yep. Yeah, I, I like having high and low, so this is actually quite yeah. perfect for me. Okay, so you pay him. Uh, you continue on your journey, and um, what do you guys do? It's uh, so you, you still haven't made it to Fairbrad, and it's it's going to be night. What happened to Donkey? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Sandor, donkey. Sandor bought the donkey that got passed on to like Desmond and. Hari. But I think Desmond oh, did, just did it... left it. Yeah, did it get? Oh no, yeah, Desmond left it tied up somewhere. Yeah, well, Desmond left it yeah. tied up at the end, at the yeah. initial end. You guys had another wins wins, the other win. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so I guess the innkeeper has donkey. Oh, right, maybe, maybe Amari is gonna get it back. To get it. We'll yeah. see. Well, uh, as I said, you guys continue on your journey, and it does not seem you're anywhere close to getting into very bad, and it's night. Do you make a camp or do you push on through night? Uh, unless sh Lucille stops me, I keep trucking on through night. Yeah, I think I'll do the same thing. I'm more of a city dweller, so I'd probably rather get to town than camp out here in the woods. Okay, so you continue on your journey. Um, um, just a second. I have... Do you have night vision? I have a lantern, so I will light my lantern as soon as it's night. I do not have dark vision, although I'm actually trying to look up Lizard Man racial stuff right now. I can't seem to find it. It's in the DMG. Yeah, I know, but I can't find it. And I almost stabbed myself. Don't stab your... That's bad, Chucky. There was, there was a scissor on, like, the book right here. And I, I took it up like this. And the, the scissor just went... Just dropped there on you. Lizard folk. Um, no. But I can hold my breath for 15 minutes. Can't you hold your breath for Which your... is completely relevant! Yay! <laughs> uh, he can hold his breath... Uh, like oh, if, uh, if it's the number of rounds thing. equal to your constitution or something, isn't it? Yeah. Normally? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, the 15 minutes, minutes would make it extremely big. Yeah. Okay, so um, you guys push on through the night and... You... Catch you continue on and you catch upon what seems to be a small like fire, um, and there's this man on the ground in a robes. Uh, it seemed like smudged white robes, actually embroidered in some kind of gold. There's these two thugs above him that are literally kicking him and laughing. Uh, and this man so is doing absolutely nothing. There's a it's fire, like, or there's a there's like a small fire, and this man is on the ground. There's a small campfire. This man in white robes, seemingly monk or cleric. You're, it's off to it, the side of the road. Off to the side of the road, of course. And two men kind of kicking him. I shout, "Hey, 
Hey, stop that! As I draw a blade. Actually, yeah. Wait. I will. I'm gonna dump one of my backpacks onto the ground and draw a blade and start moving towards them. They turn around to you. He's a heretic. He deserves it. I draw my trident, uh, put my wicker shield in front of me, and go to flank Lucille. Say, carrying direct his creatures without moving. We didn't really catch much of that. Yeah, You're staring Neil, very intensely. You staring very intensely. Neo is easily turning into a robot. I think your <laughs> I think your internet is slowly, slowly dying. I think the Nam sharks are just easily enjoying their meal on your internet. They're not taking it all together. It's easily torturing you. Yeah. Well, I stare intently at them and guard Lucille. If any of that made it through. Uh, that made it through. Okay, so you stare intently, and these two men uh, just look at you, spit on the ground, take out uh, these two maces, uh, each of them with one mace, and uh, they raise them up against you. So roll me initiative. How far away are they? Uh, so you, that's off the road, so it's 30 feet away. You just walked in. I would say that you, that's uh, decent. You're about 30 feet away from them. So, initiative. Initiative. 19. Okay, so let's see about our guys. These guys are sitting at a 13. So, we have Kang, Lucille, and the Pugs. Okay, so you just uh, run up to one of them. Uh, Kang, what do you do? Which one Which one do you attack? He didn't say he uh, I didn't get the description. Oh, there? sorry, he said that he was running up to one of them. Beforehand? Okay. Him? I'm going crazy? Kang, go. I'm sorry, I'm cut out you said. Can you describe it to me again? Uh, as I said, so there's a there's a man on the ground in, like, dirty robes of maybe a monk or a cleric, and right, this man just kicking him. These men take out maces, turn around to you, and spit on the ground. Okay, so and I go first with my 19. Yeah, they're about 30 yeah. feet away from us next to a campfire. So oh, you can okay. get to him and attack if you want to. No, my position is to stand before Lucille, um, like a, a foot in front of her with my wicker shield out and my trident out, and I will ready an attack in case anyone comes within range. Okay, uh, so you ready an attack, Lucille, it's your turn after that. Go, let me get some battle music going. <clears throat> Maybe there won't be battle, maybe we just gotta stand off. Maybe, so what do you do? Um, I stand behind Kang, I raise the lantern above my head, and I... Yep. Who you... are you, and who is that man? And I point my blade to the... They the look at him and say... No, he's still conscious, he's kind of like... His hands are shaking, he's, he seems to be wounded, but he's not breathing. Um, he's a heretic! His end was coming for him. He's branded! Branded. I just stand there, menacingly. <laughs> I... They, and I kind of like start stepping closer to you. What's this? What abomination are you? Like pointing at Kang. Excuse me? Is that any way to, to talk to a lady? How close does he step, Chucky? Uh, they are keeping a safe 10 feet distance. But they're kind of like half circling you around. They're not moving in front of you with their maces out. Okay. Are they armored? Uh, they have leather armor on them. If they get to a point where one of like they are more than ninety degrees apart from each other in front of us, I will immediately move to attack one. Uh, they like seem if they if they start to circle around us and actually get to like a a wide area where I might have to look side to side to see both of them, I will make an attack. Yeah, that's what they're doing. So they, they start are circling around. Yeah, they are, they are trying to circle you around. Uh, so you go on and attack. Uh, yes. Do do you want to attack? Because you're first. So how far away are they Natural from them at this one. point? Natural one. So right now they are 
One of them is f exactly in front of Kang, the other one is about 15 feet from you. Basically all of them are 15 feet from you, you seal. They were 10 feet from Kang, and you were just behind Kang. Okay. Okay, so just Kang jumps uh, on the one on the right or the left? Just so we have an idea? Uh, the one on the right. Okay, so you jump on the so, one on the right. So there's one on the right, and then there's one between us and the... the yes, punching exactly. Bag. Exactly. Uh, let me write down there. Two, two, two. There we have our HPs. Uh, you jump, you do not manage to do an attack. And they raise up their maces, but before they can do anything, you see us turn. What do you do, you seal? Bye. Ryan! Um. <laughs> so I am going to. Let's see. How does interacting with objects work? So like you, you get one free interact with an object when you make yeah. an action. Yeah, for example, like if you just does it have to be the object you use for that action, or can I make an attack and set down my lantern as an action? I would say that uh, can I interact with the lantern as no, part of the action? So, so you can you can drop an item as a free action. That's what we. I said. don't want to drop. I want to like, like set it down so it doesn't. You break. can you can set it down. I'll say that you just need to use. Um, just half of your movement to put the lantern down easily set it down so it doesn't break i was trying to see if i could i mean whatever never mind. not not right. as so a reaction to drop it yes but not as a easily set it to right, so i'm gonna well. go for the one that kang just attacked um okay. and then run past circle behind the guy um does he turn to face me uh he does not turn to face you know he's he's keeping his face his face strewn on the wizard man you him 16 to hit. 16 is a hit. For 13 points of damage. You stab this guy in the back. And I continue moving. I use my bonus action to dash. So you said he was 15 feet away? Yes. So I move a total of 80 feet that round. I wind up like... Actually, no, I'm not going to run that far. I want to make sure there's still light on Kang. But I do like a drive-by shanking and wind up behind the guy holding my lantern up still so that Kane can has like well, I mean I'm 30 feet from the fire that they're standing okay, around Okay yeah so, so I yeah. just split well lit. So I do like a drive by and then I disappear off into the trees um, Okay so you start running into the trees No problem So on their turn they kind of take up their maces and attack Tang uh, from uh... The guy's still standing after 13 points of damage Oh yeah they're, they're pretty big guys and they have weapons they have uh, armors on them you can imagine they're gonna just mm -hmm. just the regular AC actually, like, shield yeah. back attack would not have shield though so that would be 15 ac back attack okay so uh let's see this fun this guy in front of you rolls his um attack at you and he gets advantage nonetheless even the guy in front because that's the that's the thing these guys get. So the second attack on the mace on the front on the guy in front of you goes at an 18. That's a hit. Okay. So they're both getting two attacks then. Uh, yes, they're both getting two attacks okay. with their maces on you. Okay, so you just take uh, eight points of damage from that. That is your max damage. And let's see the other the guy in the back rolls an 18 on the first attack and a wow a 21 on the second attack. Okay. Did I just get Kane killed. So maybe no, it's not close to that yet, but you might have gotten him in some trouble. You take another nine points of damage. These guys are just That's bashing you total. in. Seven points of damage. Quite low. And Kang's next. Okay. Well, I'm going to make an attack at the one in front of me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thirteen. Is that a hit? 13 is a hit, yes. They only have red okay, armor. Okay, then I would like to also expend a, a superiority die so that I may disarm him as well. No Battle problem. Battlemaster. Battlemaster, yep. Yes. So D6 plus 5 for damage, plus D8 for damage from the disarming blow, I believe. I'm going to double check these exact numbers. I'm still new to them. Okay, and the disarming blow, with, let me check what you need to do to do that, or do you just do it? Uh, I'm unsure that I don't think that he just disarmed him. I think it's a no, 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 no. Um, he needs to do a strength 
saving throw uh, of 13 or higher to hold on to his weapon. He His mace flies from his hand. Okay, he also takes 12 points of damage. Okay, the guy is not looking good. Then I will action surge, <laughs> turn around, and attack the guy behind me. Okay, you actually so turn around and attack the guy behind you. So this is the one you attacked before. So this guy is looking right. very bad. He's looking at... Yeah, you, he's, you just obliterate him. He's, that's a 24 to hit. Okay, that's And I will hit. do the exact same thing as before with the superiority die and all that jazz. Okay, so... So he needs to make a strength check and he, he takes 13 he damage. He does not make it, his mace fries. And they That's seem to him. be extremely... No, it doesn't kill him. This is the other guy. He took... No, this is the other guy. He's attacking Wait, the one guy. Of them, one of them took 20... 20... Not 26, 25, 25 points of damage, exactly. So this is the... Yeah, 25 so one took 25 and one took 13 and they've both been disarmed. Okay. So their mace is and I from say, their I hiss at them, going, "Go away!" And we seal your turn. What do you do? Yeah. They seem to be backing away. I eviscerate one of them. Okay, so you just come back easily behind one of them. You put your dagger to his throat, and you it's a short sword. Oh, uh, you short sword to his throat, and his. <laughs> The other guy does not even stay one second to think he sees this. He turns around. I, I he position runs. myself right up next to him at the end of that round. Yeah, yeah. He runs with his whole full action. So you can take an uh, attack of opportunity, both of you, if you want to. 15 versus AC. Hit. <laughs> Two points of damage. Nope. Okay. Neil, do you want to take a back? Uh, do you want to take a attack of opportunity on this? I would love to. Okay, so you try to drive your trident. 18? That's a hit. Unlikely um, that you can actually kill him unless you use a... Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's... Because I can push him, I can oh, wait, disarm shit. him, or I can... Are short swords finesse? Yeah. Okay, uh, so I 10 can... damage to him. Okay, I okay. can use sneak attacks so with So he runs away. Yes. He, he managed to run away as you stab at him, and it, does anyone pursue? He runs back. Uh, yeah, I mean, on my next turn, I will take actions. Okay, so yeah, so he runs away 60 feet from you. Uh, is it's your he turn still now. Within, can I still see him, is the question. He runs into the darkness. You can. Because of you in the light, and he runs into the darkness. You can't see him, but you know where he, he has gone. You, you know, so like when you're. When you're in white and you look into darkness, it's quite hard to see. Which, which only direction the light did he is run? in front of me. If the light is behind me. Yeah, but well, the light is in front and behind you because okay. there's a lantern which, and a so which, direc which direction did he run? Up he the ran road. away from the fire? Yeah, like, like up the road. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make an attack at where I expect him to be, but it's blind, so disadvantage. Uh, yeah, disadvantage. Are you throwing your trident? I'm throwing one of my spears, which okay. ooh, would have been a critical... Well, I guess not. You take out your spear, uh, you throw it, to roll, me, roll me damage. That's now, it. here's... Does my duel... I think my dueling fighting style also gives me a plus two damage here. It says when you're using one one-handed weapon in one hand. So I'm throwing a spear that's still only but one one-handed weapon. You throw your trident weapon. in your other hand, don't you? No, no, I, I drop the trident to keep my shield up, pull out the spear. Why did you take dueling? I always I felt yeah. like that was the worst of the. And unless it there's is, anything specified, like the mechanically text, speaking, it was. The text in that says that seems to confirm what you said. I, I thought it was melee. But maybe I misread. It doesn't say melee. So if it doesn't specify anywhere, you, that is is still a one-handed item. Okay. So a twenty-one to hit and a nine to damage if it hits. You hear like a uh, and a thump. Wait, but if, Neil, if you use a shield, you can't use dueling. No, I can. And nothing in your other hand is what the text. No, it doesn't say that. Yes, it and no other weapons. No other weapons. Oh, really? When you're wielding a melee hand. weapon in one hand and no other weapons, you gain a plus two damage to damage roll with that weapon. Okay, I thought it was melee weapon and nothing in your offhand. No, no, no. It's better. for shields. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I think defense is the worst when you're wearing armor. Get a plus yeah, one bonus to That's statistically that's probably. I think that's the best. Plus high two level to hit with archery is way high, better than plus high two level because you get more attack rolls against you typically than you make attack roll. I mean, it depends on what kind of character you're making, but 
usually when you go into high levels, AC is better than having a bonus to hit. To low levels, yes, bonus to hit is better than AC. But if, you, if you're against more than a couple of opponents, statistically, you're probably better off with a plus yes. one to AC than plus two to But AC. then again, depends what kind of uh, class you are. For example, a fighter at level five with an accent surge can do a total of five attacks. So a yeah. plus uh, two additionally on his weapons does make a, uh, well, dual wielding fighter at level five. Is quite good. Yeah. Okay, so um, done? Great weapon fighting is clearly the best, though. Done in the fight, and you guys are out of combat. What do you want to do? No, we aren't. Wait, is the guy dead? The guy is dead. You, j okay. j uh, Neil heard a... Where's ah! the other guy? And a thump. So, by the, actually, my lantern casts bright light in 30 feet and dim light for an additional 30 feet. Oh, so, so he probably see. was within dim light. So, so that was... Sure. Yeah, that was a critical hit, then. If he, if he was oh. in dim light. Well, so, no, because yeah. it would have it just taken the first anyways, right? We wouldn't have had yeah, it, it oh. would have. No, it would have been an advantage because the guy was back attack. Back attack. Is, is there any penalty for dim light? Uh, no, there's no penalty for dim light. Unless specified, there's no penalty. So it for would dim have light. been twelve points of damage. So the man. What happened to the other guy? I'm sorry. Uh, both I of them are dead. Two thugs. You yes, killed him? he okay. killed him. By the way, chat, I am sending you the ca the character sheets right now. So what I sent, what the Google Drive I just sent in chat, that is the character sheets. You can view them there. Um, so I step over the thug, trying to get any blood on my shoes. Actually, I wipe my blade off on his shirt and sheet it. I immediately and proceed to retrieve my spear. You go on, you retrieve your spear from his back. You just hear. I, like, I shout to Kang, drag that body over here. Search them for valuables, and I, I go and so. approach. And I approach the dead body or not the dead body the the punching bag lying next to the fire you approach the punching bag uh and you Put my lantern like right in his face <laughs> you, you turn him around and you do actually see uh a mark sizzled on his skin by what seems to, seems to be have been uh hot iron his whole forehead and part of his face is marked into uh something that seems to say just a big age like this is he conscious does it look fresh like these it guys doesn't just did it doesn't look fresh it doesn't look like this guys just did that it seems uh maybe a couple weeks old is he conscious he is conscious but he's beaten to a bloody pump so his face is all like bloody then uh bruises uh everywhere on his face it seems like uh he's not in a position to talk much I'll I'll pat him down quickly to see if he has any valuables or interesting equipment. You find or what seems to be a mysterious uh, letters or you see you find like um you find parchment, high quality parchment, you find uh what seems to be a holy uh book. You find uh, a goose feather, a high quality goose feather ink um a couple of other sets of instruments that you have no idea what they are there's like iron straight um like it, it looks like this but you have absolutely no idea what this is and it's like in angles and you're you have, I have no idea what this is looks valuable though it's it looks like iron and it's it's actually made out of iron so but if yeah, you want to take it, yeah, it, it does look weird, but it doesn't look necessarily valuable. Is this all like in a little case or something like that? It's it's in a little backpack. It's in like a little sack next to his body, besides like the a couple of things that are on him. Mm -hmm. I was just looking at the equipment to see if any of this is actually that valuable. Not particularly. Um. Actually, hold on a sec. I am... He reaches out a hand uh, for your hand and whispers, Thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Um, I am proficient with the forgery kit. Um, so... If these are like writing, do I mean, if this yes. is like these are these some are sort of tool for writing her. documents. They are not like printmaking equipment. They are not a forgery kit. You'd know that 
at first. Mm -hmm. This is uh, so if you have if you're proficient in a four jacket, then you'd be it, it'll be very easy to figure out this is monk equipment. Monk equipment. I don't yes, know but like printing stuff, print making stuff, right? It's like, like yeah, making like making writing up sermons, prayers, uh, certificates like death certificates, marrying certificates, and so on. Yeah, I'm totally gonna grab that. Is is it all like packaged in a bag? Not as I said, some of them are on him. Like the quill feather is on him. Like this feather is on him. Uh, some parchment is on him as well, and like a little wooden tube on on his back. So you're gonna grab that from him, or yeah, I'm gonna like take that <laughs> and like um, yeah. I, I'm gonna the... go retrieve my backpack and start. Going to... Yeah, can go ahead. This happens. What was on the dude, the thief, the thug who I slew with my spear that I was retrieving the spear from? So before I drag him back into the light, I, I search him out there. You you search him gold. out there and you find yes, you actually do find gold. You find three pieces of gold on each of them, and you find a piece of uh, leather on him with a drawing on it. The drawing. I is... ignore it. Okay, so you just ignore the drawing. Good. Oh yeah, I, I search for gold for mm -hmm. intelligence. Okay. No <laughs> yeah. problem. No problem. You ignore. Uh, the so I find three gold. On you him? find three gold on six. each of them. Six in total. Okay. Well, I'm just searching. The, okay, I guess I'll search the. Other I can you search them both, right? Okay. Um, then I just pocket the six gold. Does the monk have any coin? Drag the, the bodies next to the fire. Does not have any coin. He, as you as you kind of like take his uh, stuff, he's like, "Please don't take that. I can't live without that." Shut up! The DM just told me you weren't in any condition to have a conversation, so you're not going to have a conversation. Uh, I proceed okay. to eat one I, of the guys that we killed. I like start digging into his shoulder. Do I notice this? <laughs> well, I'm, I bring him next you, to the fire and we so, so, right. Uh, Rasiel, you start hearing this crunch, crunch, bone breaking, crunch, crunch, bloody. I mean, it's like rip, I gotta rip the flesh off first. Yeah. I can't. I don't start with the bones. Can you show us the image again? Just because those, it's it's like very exactly. See, that's like exactly the second before oh, he looks into. I'm, this is upsetting. I'm not sure, it's not like morally repugnant to me, but it's. Okay. Can... So is this guy actually? You you changed your mind, Chucky. He will actually have a conversation, or is he just gonna? He's just gonna grunt at me when I steal this shit. He he is he is not he's not seemingly able to talk in long sentences. He's just this is bullshit. You won't let me ask him questions, but you'll you'll you annoy can him ask him questions. Okay. You can ask him questions. Depends on how he can respond. If you ask Does him a, a yes or no, he could. Does he have a coin purse? Uh, no, he does not. Okay. Mistress, what shall we do with the dying? <clears throat> Tell me, Kang, what do you do with the innocents in, in your culture? What does innocent mean? Say a young lizard man child. They fend for themselves. Involved. If they could not make it, they die. Hmm. Well, this one may prove valuable. Well, maybe this not. This dying man? Valuable? <clears throat> Monk. I snap my fingers in front of his face. Can his eyes are like hardly open. Yes. What is your name? Robrand. Well, that's an unfortunate name. I think we should put him out of his misery. Aren't you curious? I, I pull up my trident and go get into the, like the ready position to end his life. Finish your snack, Kang. This man is dying. He must be suffering greatly. Why do these men call you a heretic? What do you worship? I actually, oh, he did have a holy book, right? I'm yes. going to start thumbing through that. Is it written in common? It's written in common. Uh, Neil, what is the god slash goddess of fertility in Sodom? Martha. Martha. It is a holy book of Martha. 
So this is a monk, a priest of Martha, a monk yes. of Martha. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is generally, I mean, even in, even in this she campaign, is, we've established that yes. she is like, and it's yes, like everyone, the goddess of good, the goddess of or good. of life so, and. So those guys, those thugs, were probably the heretics, more like it. So you see, like a holy book of Marfa, and uh, she says, "Water, water." I throw the holy book down next to him, and I hand him a water skin. Did one of the thugs have a water skin? Uh, they seem to have water skins on them. Yes, and oh, so I'll go ahead and hand him one wants of those. To... In case he has zombie aids or something, I don't want him infecting my water skin. Zombie aids. Okay, so he, he drinks a bit of the water. He props himself up against the, uh, against the tree, and says, "Thank you." Great mood to have a conversation. Thank you again. So. All I had to do was piss piss off the DM and then point out his inconsistencies. We're the worst <laughs> players ever. I'm so oh glad we don't we don't do this to each other. <laughs> um, uh, that's why I may just didn't kill you. <laughs> carry us, right? right. Yes, carry us. Kill, 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 get you. That's that Swedish, Dutch, English accent that yeah. gets me. French. Don't forget the French. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he just, as I said, props him his back against the tree and says, Thank you. I return to my snack. And once I've had my fill. Yeah. So I... while, while King's eating, I guess I'll talk to this guy for a bit if he can. He's I, like staring at those men. Here. Thugs. I, they seem to be thugs with an agenda. I don't know. They don't know why they would follow me. I've just been trying to fend for myself. Not doing too good of a job. Who did this to your face? Uh, so he tells you a story. He uh, seems to be quite frank about this. How long does it take? Not much. He only has about 10 seconds, I think, before Kang finishes eating. Eating a human doesn't take 10 seconds only. Well, I'm not going to eat a full person. I'm just like munching on a little bit of the nice raw flesh. It's rare that I get to sample humans. Yeah, it's very fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, so short story. Yeah, actually, no. If you want to hear the whole story or what do you do here? Do you stop him? But 10 seconds to get started, I think, before th things get weird. I'm from Jade Rune. One day a woman came to visit me, claimed she performed an unimaginable sin. She killed the wife of a baby inside of her. She no longer can, could have lived with herself. I convinced her that life gives more opportunity for redemption. Death brings nothing. Sorrow in the eyes of Marfa. I listened to her story of her life as a street urchin. Okay. That doesn't answer my question. Who branded your face? The church. The church of all rights in uh, Jadrun. Brother Esteban. They charged me with taking advantage of a woman I just took home. They charged me for paying her. For I finished my meal and head over here. Forsaking the Teachings of Marfa. Did no such thing. They tried to get rid of me, and they succeeded. I've been on the roads ever since, offering calligraphy and knowledge to people who'd have me for one night of rest or food. We have a term for that back home. Food. This man is worthless. He is a coward and a weakling. It is in our best interest to travel without him. Come, mistress. We can still make the city by, by before sunup. Leave this man to die. The worthless life that he is. I caress him gently on the chin and then probably touch his scars. Well, monk, 
I'm truly sorry to hear your sad tale. Um, you are welcome for your life. The rest is in Martha's hands. Pat him on the shoulder and continue walking down the path. You hear him like calling out, Please give me back my items. <clears throat> you have your life. Be grateful. I taught and make sure to, that the bandits' water skins or whatever are within reach. Actually, I mean, he's probably right next to the fire and the bandit corpses. So. Okay. If he gets really hungry, he's got some fresh flesh right there. Okay. So, um, yeah. You just continue on your road. With that, we should head to our second break. Yeah, I think that is a good point for a second break. So, um, we'll see you. Neo Q? On the other side. <laughs> I was going to let Chucky do it this time. I, I was giving, just giving you a cube. Okay. See you guys then.